Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. Under this, we are discussing now 12th solved problem. Now we'll enter into the problem. The given problem is a 75 mm long line PQ has its end P 25 mm above the HP and 15 mm in front of the VP. The line is inclined at 35 degrees to the HP and 55 degrees to the VP. Draw its projections. Now we'll extract the data from the problem. Here, the true length of the line PQ is equal to 75 mm and its inclination with HP is 35 degrees and its inclination with VP is 55 degrees. And one end of the line, say P is 25 mm above the HP and 15 mm in front of the VP. So its front view image P dash is 25 mm above XY line and top view image P is 15 mm below XY line. Then we need to draw final projections of the given line. Now we'll move towards detailed solution related to the given problem. Detailed solution. Here in this present problem, the summation of the true inclinations with HP and VP is equal to 90 degrees. That is theta plus phi is equal to 35 degrees plus 55 degrees, which is equal to 90 degrees. If so, then what about apparent inclinations with HP and VP and position of final projections of the line with respect to the XY line that we will see through this detailed solution for the given problem. As a first step, draw XY line. After drawing XY line, locate image of the one end of the line, say P, that P is at a distance 25 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. So P dash is at a distance 25 mm above XY line and P is at a distance 15 mm below XY line. So locate P dash as well as P. P is at a distance 15 mm below XY and P dash is at a distance 25 mm above XY. Name the points as P dash as well as P. Then After locating P dash as well as P, then draw locus lines for P dash as well as P. After drawing locus lines, then in the problem it is mentioned that the true length of the line is 75 mm and its inclination with HP is 35 degrees and its inclination with VP is 55 degrees. So with the given true length and its true inclination with HP, draw true length in front U. Its inclination with HP is 35 degrees. Then draw inclined line passing through P dash with an angle of 35 degrees to the XY line. After that, with compass with a length of 75 mm, draw an arc on this inclined line. Name this point as Q1 dash. This is the true length of the line in front U and its inclination with the HP is 35 degrees. After that, draw true length of the line in 
top view with true inclination with VP as 55 degrees. So at P with an angle of 55 degrees to the XY line, draw inclined line. After that, with compass with a length of 75 mm, that is true length, that which is equal to P dash, Q and dash as a length, P as a center, draw an arc on this 55 degrees inclined line, name this point as Q2, then dark this P dash Q1 dash as well as PQ2 lines. After drawing true length of the line in front view and true length of the line in top view, then we will draw apparent lengths in the front view as well as top view. First we will draw apparent length in the top view. So at Q1 dash drop projector vertically down towards the horizontal plane then at P parallel to XY line draw a line and this line cuts the already drawn projector at Q1 this is the top view length of the line after that we will draw apparent length in the front view for that draw projector through Q2 towards the vertical plane then through P dash draw a line parallel to XY line and that line cuts the already drawn projector at Q2 dash here this Q2 dash and P dash length is front view length that is P dash Q2 dash is the apparent length in the front view that is drawing true lengths as well as apparent lengths is completed then we will move towards drawing final parts of the line for that what we will do draw locus lengths for Q dash and Q. This is the locus line for Q dash and this is the locus line for Q. Now we will draw final projection of the line in front view as well as top view. So as a first step in drawing final projections, fix P dash and rotate entire front view towards this locus line that is P dash as a center, P dash Q2 dash as a radius draw an arc onto this Q dash locus line name this point as Q dash then join P dash and Q dash after drawing the final position of the line in front view Next step is drawing final projection of the line in top view. For that, what we will do? P as a center, PQ1 that is top view length as a radius, draw an arc onto Q locus line, name this point on this Q locus line as Q, then join P and Q. Here P dash Q dash is the final projection of the line in front view and its inclination with HP is 90 degrees. And PQ is the apparent length of the line in top view and its inclination with 
VP is 90 degrees. Then we will do the dimensioning. Here P dash and Q1 dash is equal to PQ2 is equal to true length of the line which is equal to 75 mm. And P dash is at a distance 25 mm above HP. P is at a distance 15 mm below HP. Here all these dimensions are in millimeters. The final projections of the line in front you say P dash Q dash and in top you say PQ should be more darker than true length of the line in front you as well as top you and apparent length of the lines in initial position that is in front you as well as top you should be more lighter and construction lines are with 3H pencil dimensioning is with 2H pencil. The final statement related to the given Solved problem is if theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees, then alpha is equal to 90 degrees, beta is equal to 90 degrees, then both front view and top view are perpendicular to xy line. That is here p dash q dash is perpendicular to xy line, pq is perpendicular to xy line. Then apparent inclinations of the line with hp that is alpha is equal to 90 degrees apparent inclination of the line with vp that is beta is equal to 90 degrees that's about the solution related to the given problem visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video keep learning on knowledge sharing Thank you for watching.